I would say that this is all a dream. And even what appears to be people are also parts of the dream simulation, completely mired in delusion. This is why it's so important to see things as they are. This way we don't get caught up in misperception. Everything comes out of awareness. Being the person or partial awareness is being asleep because you don't see the fundamental source of all existence. Awareness is the clear source of reality. Playing around in imaginary distinctions of all of this dream content phenomena. The dream only exists as it's being experienced. So the dreamer and the dream are one. They cannot exist independently of one another. The only thing you need to concern yourself with is the fundamental truth. Nothing else should matter. When you are caught up in illusion, you're delusional. All that are delusional can only point to the illusion. They entertain the illusion. It's not said to invalidate everything and to form up a sense of nihilism where you see that nothing matters and there's no meaning to it. The illusion serves its purpose. It's just not meant to hide in delusion. In other words, refusing to participate in the larger scene and stubbornly cling to falsehoods. This unconscious default pattern. When that happens, we strengthen our ego programming. This is the relationship that we've developed between the parasite and the host. You cannot blame the ego for setting up shop in your mind. You cannot blame maggots for being in your home while you have not taken out the garbage. If you set the conditions for the ego of mind to take over, then it's your job and responsibility to clean up that mess by getting your house in order. Because a house divided cannot stand. Reality is indivisible. It's one unified whole. It's not divided. So long as you're in a delusional state, you'll have all sorts of problems. Your mind will create so many different deflections, complexities, and distractions. And we will desperately cling and possess any piece of illusion that we get our hands on to make us feel relevant or worthy, entitled. This is what the thinking mind does. Thoughts create boundaries, limitations, obstacles, distractions, judgments. It is imperative that you create space between you and your thoughts. And in that gap is the limitless field of possibility. All that you are. See it the true way which is inside out and outside in. You have one foot in the third density and you have the other in the higher planes of existence. You move from misunderstanding to clarity and you're no longer caught up within the faulty premise that you hold to be true, that this world is somehow external from you, independent from you, and you are just a passive observer of it. You are the source from which all things come from. Do not be afraid of your true nature. It is who and what you are at the deepest level of being. 